Well, hello everybody. My name is Brian. Welcome to the video from PBM Money. Today I want to talk about something that happens anytime you are on a long goal, and that is staying motivated. Building wealth is a race, but it's a marathon. It's not a sprint. And when you, when you do something that takes a long time, staying motivated is a problem. And I'll tell you what I've noticed, because I've, I've, I've taught a lot of people, and I notice that everybody in the beginning is really excited. They want to do all the things in the first month. And then after a month or two, they are completely worn out. They can't stick with it. Now there are many, many different ways and things that need to get done when you're building wealth. Learning how to be frugal, learning how to save money, all kinds of things that you can focus your attention on. Some of the habits that are important uh, to winning the marathon is commitment, consistency, discipline, and motivation. So today, we are now about two months, going on three months into this year's goal. And our goal is a very lofty goal, for me, anyway. And, uh, and I, I have spent a lot of time thinking about how we're going to get there. <clears throat> so it, it does get weary. And at the two or three month period, I want to jump in in case you're having the same issues I've been having. And that is, I'm going to give you some tips on how to stay motivated in your marathon of building wealth. Now, one of the first things I did is because I am a visual person. So I made uh, some charts to, so I could keep track of my monthly savings and how I was measuring up and what I, each month what I needed to hit to get my goal. So I keep track and I still do that today. Every month, at the end of the month, I go through and fill out the numbers. Now, the goals that I set, I put in writing and I put them right by my computer. So every day I look at those goals so that, you know, and I don't make a conscious effort, but they're there and I see them and they're in my subconscious all the time. And I'll tell you another thing, I, I started, oh, about four or five years ago when I started building wealth. And that is, I decided that to do one thing every day towards my goal, just one thing. It doesn't have to be a big thing. But if you did one thing every day to reach your goal, you will have done 365 things to reach your goal. Now that thing could be something easy like watching a video, reading a book, or it could be setting goals, uh, making charts, uh, one thing every single day. If you, read, if you read a book every day, I mean parts of a book every day, that's one thing. Another thing that I noticed was if all I concentrated on was the big goal, which by the way, I don't think I mentioned it, my goal this year for savings is $50,000. And yes, I still make $15 an hour. <laughs> but we're gonna save $50,000. Now if I think about that goal, that seems awfully daunting to me. But what if I break it down to a monthly goal? Okay, now that's a little bit more manageable. Because when I set my goals, I set the goals based on my monthly income. Now, another thing um, that you can do to stay motivated is have somebody keep you accountable. One of the reasons that I started, well, probably the main reason I started this channel was so I would publicly tell you my goal. I would publicly do everything that I've done. 
And that way, if I didn't reach it, I would have to come on here and say, I didn't reach my goal. And here's what's going to happen. Now, fortunately, uh, I haven't had to do that yet. But I think one of the reasons is I stay motivated because I don't want to come on here and tell you I failed. <laughs> so I try really hard uh, to stay accountable um, to you guys. And just, just as an aside, when I was talking about breaking your goals down um, into smaller, easier, manageable chunks, uh, I remember a saying um, that I learned years and years and years ago. And it's very appropriate in this situation. Mile by mile, it takes a while. Inch by inch, it's a cinch. Which means... Don't concentrate on the big goal. Break it down into little teeny baby steps. Then you'll hit it. And that has worked like a charm. Now, the reason I did the video on staying motivated is because part of our game, part of my goal, is to help you to reach your goals. And as I said, I know that after two or three months, it can get monotonous. And I wanted to encourage you and tell you you are doing great on your goal. Keep it up. Pay attention to some of the uh, tips that I gave you and it'll help you stay motivated because we got 10 months left. Well, by the time this airs, probably nine months, but we're almost half, we're a fourth of the way through. That's a way to look at it. We're a fourth of the way through. Stay motivated, stay accountable, do it in little bites, and try to stay consistent. That's about all I want to talk about. You guys have a great day, a great week, and happy investing.